you doing today? I hope that you're doing amazing and fantastic and wonderful. We are already at the beginning of March. Knickknack is almost four months old. That is absolutely ridiculous if you ask me. Time is going by way, way too fast. But let's talk about something a little bit more serious. I have always been known as the book reader of the family, right? Like, I have a room with books. I've been known as the book reader. I take pride in my book reading this. I'm wearing a All the Cool Kids Are Reading t-shirt, right, right? You can tell me why my husband, who has been a non-reader for the majority of our relationship, is beating me in reading. Yeah, yeah, you heard that right. You heard that right. There is a battle going on in this house, and one that I plan on winning, come hell or high water. Let's, let's dive into this, okay? So, I started off the year with a goal of 30 books, right? Because I was going to be like, Courtney, you need to take some more time. Like, you have two kids now. You got, you, you got a newborn and you got a toddler and, and your life's busy. You're trying to write, get your story done. You're working full time. Like, I have a lot on my plate. So I was like, yeah, Courtney, you know what? Your normal goal of 52 books, like, you know, it's okay to shelve it. Get it? <laughs> it's okay to shelve it. It's okay to, to put it up on the top shelf and we'll come back to that goal. So I changed it to 30 goals, or 30 books, right? I, I, I run a book club, the Cozy Escape Book Club. So there's 12. I'm doing a reread of the Bait Shop Mystery series. So that's another 12, so that's 24. That leaves me like six books of like play reading. Then why, I ask you, is it March 3rd and I have read 28 books this year? I'll tell you why. It's because the only time I get competitive is with my husband. We can't play board games together. Nope, not unless they're co-op games, they're cooperative. No. So he started reading, uh, listening to audiobooks this year, and I was like, oh, cool. You know, like what audiobook are you reading? And he was currently reading 14, which is a book that we read. Um, uh, I think it's by Peter Kleins. I'll pop it up right here. It was a book we read for book club uh, when I had a physical book club. And hello, Cleo. And uh, he was like, yeah, I'm just doing a reread of it. I was like, that's super cool, yeah. And then he had an earbud in again. And I'm like, what, what, what'd you listen to? Are you still listening to 14? He's like, oh, no, 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 I finished that. I'm listening to Project Hail Mary. Again? And he's like, yeah, I'm doing a reread. And I'm like, dude, Fantastic, because Project Hail Mary is probably one of my top favorite books of all time. I love anything by Andy Weir. So I was like, that's really, really cool. And, you know, a couple of days later, he's still having an earbud. I'm like, how's Project Hail Mary? He's like, I already finished that. <laughs> what do you mean you already finished it? And he's like, yeah, 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 I'm listening to, I think he was listening to like another sci-fi series. And I was like, what? He's like, yeah, I'm really getting back into audiobooks. I was like, oh, he goes, so uh, how many have you read this year? I was like, listen, bruv, I've read like seven or eight books this year. He goes, oh, how many books have you read? He goes, yeah, I think I'm on like seven, eight, maybe nine. I was like, oh, okay. So then I was like, well, I wanna listen to more books. So during pumping time at work, I was like, okay, instead of like scrolling on the phone, um, I've been listening to audiobooks. And I listen at, normally I was listening at one and a half speed. And then I realized that his numbers were taken up. So guess who's listening now at two speed? Now he's also listening at two speed, right? Okay, so like this is going on for like two weeks, right? Um, let me pop up for you uh, the, the image that I made for his books read this year. You see that? You see that? When I made that, he was at 28 books read for the year. 28 books. And as he's like going through, uh, 
he thinks he's done a funny, which, you know, maybe he has, maybe you guys will think it's hilarious. Um, but did you know that you can change your Goodreads URL? Did you know that? I didn't know that. So what did my lovely, lovely husband change his Goodreads URL to? Hold on, let me pull it up for you. His Goodreads URL is goodreads.com forward slash reading more books than Courtney 2023. Now that's when the gauntlet got thrown down, right? Like that's when I was like, oh, so this is a competition. And then we started sending gifts to each other on text. Like, he would send me a basketball jersey gif of someone saying, like, 25. And I was like, what do you mean 25? I don't get it. He goes, read the number. I'm like, you're at 25 books? Like, back and forth, back and forth. And then, like, every time I think that I've got, like, an edge on him, he finishes another one. And then he tried to tell me that my poetry books don't count. Bruh. Yes, they do. Do poetry books count? They should count. And then he said... So hold on, hold on, let me go back. Here's a graph of how many books he had listened to um, at this recording. He had listened to 28 books, 55 days listened, 9,887 minutes read. Now one, I am so proud of my husband for, for reading, getting back into reading and like really, really loving it. That's freaking amazing because as someone who is an avid lover of books and reading and everything, like I'm so freaking proud of him. But the competition Courtney is saying I need to crush him and yeah. So then I compared, so you can actually go into my year in books that you normally get at the end of the year. If you go to the URL and you take out like 2022 you can, and put it as 2023, it'll show you your year in books so far. So. I'm gonna pop up on the screen, my year in books and his year in books. So as of right now, I have, uh, I have read 27 books read, which is 8,043 pages read. He has read 28 books, 9,665 pages read. So he's beating me in both ways, right? He's beating me by one book and then he's beating me by 1,600 pages. I'm gonna need help guys. Like, I'm gonna need help finding fun books that are fun to listen to on audio because as of right now, if you saw my Instagram, I'll pop over my red for February, just for February. That doesn't, it doesn't count my six, my only six books in January. Here's my 22 or 20 books read or whatever in February. Um, two of them were physical books. One was um, one was ebook, and then the rest of my reading was uh, was audiobooks. So what I'm asking you guys is, hey, would you like some updates on the uh, book battle my husband and I are currently in, and I'm losing? Um, and would you please give me some awesome book recommendations that are quick reads and fun? so that I can, I can beat him. Cause I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need you on my side. Or are you on his side? You can also be Switzerland and take no sides. But yeah, I am, and I'm, I'm enjoying this so far and I haven't gotten burned out at all. So, and you guys know that whole bookshelf right there, this whole bookshelf, this black one, that's all TBR. Those are books I haven't read yet. So I feel like I have a lot more book variety than he does because he's struggling to find sci-fi fantasy books that are really interesting to him. So in all fairness, you guys can also give him recommendations in the comments, I guess. But yeah, I hope that this was an interesting video for you. Uh, let me know what you think. But that's the end of this chapter of Courtagonist. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, happy reading. Bye.